take two. So, hi everybody, I'm back. I did a recording earlier. Something happened with the audio. So I'm going to hopefully re recap a little bit of what I was sharing earlier on some uh, tips for uh, gardening with your pots and some things you can do on a budget to still bring a wow factor to your front porch or your patio. Um, this year, uh, one of the things I did was I wanted to put new pots on my front porch, uh, but I didn't want to buy new pots. So I had some other pots I had in my backyard and I repurposed them. Um, you'll see over here, I've got this first one which is a little bit of a lower pot. Do you see it? And, um, and then behind it, a pot that kind of has that same square shape um, in the back. And what I did was um, the pot in the front is actually, it's a really cheap plastic pot that I had from last year. And um, the pot that is behind it is this big metal pot that I've used for events for multiple years, but really need to be retire, retire, and uh, it came here. Um, so they had two different looks. One was plastic, one was metal, one was brown, uh, one was uh, silver. Uh, but you want to have um, kind of a uniform look. So I use this Rust-Oleum product, and this is one that's... Um, good for wood, metal, plastic, and masonry. So it, it ensures that I'm gonna get the same color relatively on both of them. And one of the other things um, to bring a little interest to your pots is number one, look at what condition are you planting in? Is it in the sun or are you in the shade? And uh, make sure that you pick plants that work for that kind of environment. Um, in my case of my front porch, I have a lot of shade, especially on one side. Uh, so a time and true tested one for me has been the geraniums. Um, they always add great pop of color to your container. And um, I like to do something that's a little bit different. And on this one, you can see like right here, I added, this is King Tut or Papyrus. So this is gonna get really big and fill in and provide a, another texture to that whole front pot. Um, so in a couple weeks, it's gonna look, it's gonna look fabulous. Um, so in this case, this pot was actually busted out. I'm gonna see if I can show you this this time because I'm re redoing the video. Is um, don't be afraid to reuse things that you have already, even if you have to adjust a little bit. So on this, it's actually just a round planter. I don't know if you can see it, it's pretty big. And then I put a bigger pot underneath it to elevate it up. Um, but then that way I'm not stuck having to fill that whole basin with dirt. Uh, the big thing is, is you need to make sure that this pot that's holding your flowers has holes in the bottom so that it can drain. If your pot doesn't drain, you're gonna end up with soupy flowers and aren't so happy. Um, so on this, you know, it's about getting for some height and texture and uh, of course pop of color. And over here, I've got these awesome marigolds. Now this is something else for you to consider for your garden is uh, marigolds, lemongrass. All of those are great for keeping mosquitoes at bay. And that would be a great thing to have on your patio containers. Um, and often we, we get stuck into the notion of doing annuals because they add a lot of color and that's great. But this year maybe consider planting even part of your container with some perennials that will come back year after year. Um, so in my backyard right now on my patio, I actually have two lavender bushes that I planted in some um, beautiful pots. And when it comes to fall, I'll later transfer those to my um, my garden bed. And earlier, I was showing you, or telling you, like I had already deheaded those geraniums. But check this out. I know this is going to look scary. Like I'm going to pull it all out, but look at, rip it all out. And believe it or not, it will rejuvenate more stems. 
So like these still haven't bloomed yet, but like all these, they gotta go. And if you do that, like and give it a week, you'll be fine. And then do a slow release fertilizer. Um, it definitely helps. And then do a weekly fertilizer with like a miracle grow or something like that. And it's funny because for like a day or two, this plant will look kind of sad. Like, what did she do to have the color? But then with time, these bounce right back. And last year I had great luck with the geraniums. They actually lasted until October or something like that. So, yeah, so two different heights. And I think the big thing is, is if you tried like the, um, the color, Pots. You could even do something different. Like you, I did black because it matches my my house. But you could do something like um, teal or red. Or there's so many options available. So check that out. Um, and the other one would be just make sure you're using really good soil. Um, I like to use organic compost if I can find it. Um, in fact, this year I really haven't had any luck finding organic compost. So if you have any suggestions of where I can find that, um, leave me a message in the comments below. Um, and also tell me what are some things that you've planted on your front porch this year. So last time we talked, I was telling you guys about that centerpiece that I had done. And uh, this is the aftermath. I already unloaded all the cars. But in the last video that the audio wasn't so good, um, I gave you guys a quick tip on you know, caring for your lilies. And uh, this one's pretty pitiful, but it'll help you get the idea. Um, these are the little guys that you don't want to stick around on your lilies because they'll stain your tablecloth or your clothing. And uh, even for uh, like my fingers, just from touching it, it um, got that dye on it. So what you do is you stick your hand in the finger in to the flower and pull it out gently with your fingers, just very, very gently. And then that way you can keep that center tip. I see a lot of florists that cut that off and I don't understand it because look at it, it's so beautiful. This one's like on its last breath, but look at those little tentacles sticking out. So pretty. So anyhow, um, I guess that's all for now. Here all the neighbors coming home, but I just wanted to do a recap of the video that I shared earlier because of the audio there was a little bit of an issue. And um, I guess one of my last tips would be to, while you're doing all that de-heading, take a little bucket with you and throw all your leftovers in there. It makes it easier for clean up and putting in your compost or in your um, lawn recycling bin so uh, tomorrow I'm going to be meeting at Flint Institute of Arts with Sheila Smith who is the president of um, FIA Founder Society um, they're gonna have some great stories and insight um, to share with you guys so if you can tune in tomorrow at noon um, and if you haven't liked our page, I encourage you to do so now at Cup of Kudos. Uh, we're going to get into some segments in the next coming weeks where we're getting some great insight from um, professionals, doctors, all sorts of wonderful people, teachers, business owners uh, that have some wisdom and a cup of kudos to share with you, our viewers. Um, if you haven't seen our magazine, you can check it out online at cupofkudos.com and you can also check kudosflint.com. So, wish you a beautiful day. Enjoy and until next time, I'll see you tomorrow at noon. Bye.